Welcome back to the Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4 1 up set walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 71. And in this part, we are of course continuing exploring the outside of Hogwarts. In this part, we are going to go out to the grounds. But we're not only going to be doing the grounds, we're also going to be doing them. Quidditch pitch area. You can't go into the Quidditch Stadium, of course, but I'm going to do like the area outside of the Quidditch Stadium, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So we'll also be doing that in this part. And of course, we'll do this right now. There's not anything here, but there's just a few studs and stuff like that, so we'll have to do it. It's just a few studs. And of course, Draco, Crab, and Gold are here as well. As they always are. I don't know what they're doing there, just just showing off their muscles and stuff, even though they don't have any. So it's a bit strange. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to do here on this bridge either. You can just move these lamps if you feel like it, or if you want to, you only get a few studs from it. So it's not really. You don't really have to do this nothing to do on the bridge. So out here in the grounds there are actually quite a lot of stuff to do and we'll of course be doing everything of it uh, as there is a polyjuice potion that you have to make there. I, I just pointed at the screen where the polyjuice potion it was. So that's a little strange. But we'll have to try and find every po a potion, in potion ingredient for the polyjuice potion. You can see there's a student sleeping here, we'll just take his hair, just as easy as that. It's not really a wig though, seems like a wig. And we'll put that into the apologies portion. Um, you can see that there's some um, Lego bricks here, we'll have to make the stone hedge. And the stone hedges have these white spots or whatever it is on them, so we'll just have to get rid of that as well. There's a few of them around here we'll have to do because it's a stone hedge, so it's not just one. There's of course a few more than that. I think it's only three though. Yeah, it's only three. This is the second one, of course. And you get of course a few studs when you do it. Nothing really special though. But the reason we are doing this is because when you've cleaned all three of them, you will get a gold brick, which is just there in the middle of all three of them. Get that, and that is 162 out of 200, or 163 actually, as I've been saying quite a lot of times. You, you get there's some fireworks here that you can actually put on and stuff, so we'll actually be doing that right now. As I'm doing now, just shoot that, and when they go up into the air, they will leave care to studs and a lot of studs as well. So that is quite good. So we'll have you can see that there's a pumpkin there being held by two pixies. That pumpkin can actually fly, so we'll use that to um get them. Now this is the third and last firework and it will shoot up there and also leave a character stud so there's three character studs to get there. Um, and yeah, I think it seems like we'll be doing that right now. Or not. Yeah, we won't. But there's something stuff down here as well. There's Pixie holding an apple which a little bit strange. We'll need the apple for the polyjuice potion. So we'll just bring that up here and put it into the cauldron. You can dig out some stuff here. There's this thing, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's like in in this hole for some reason. It's very, very strange. You have to be scared with the broom and it will just run off into the forest. Now you have to get four, four of carrots that are in the air as well, which is something you will do and I think you'll get carrot stuff from it. You should also use this cloud and move it around just along here. 
and four patches of flowers who come flowers who come out and use swing garden maps on them as I'm doing right now and that will give you a red brick. Now we'll pick up the red brick and we'll go up to Hedwig and Hedwig will bring the red brick to Idas Al Emporium. Of course and what red brick is this? This is fast dig. It's it is what it says. It's pretty much when you use when you dig it will dig much much faster. So that is pretty much everything that is. So now we'll use this pumpkin to get these carrot studs. That is Victor Crumb. There's two more carrot studs to get up here in the air. There's one there. A lot along with studs and that is Ginny Cardian. And the third one is located over here, I believe, somewhere around here. And there's also some studs here. And the third and last carrot stud is there which is Hedrick Lake Tasks. That is three easy character studs to get. There's also a student here trapped by the other snare, so we'll just free him and we get a student apparel. Oh no, oh no. It's something that I found really strange about these um, devil snares is that when you're not even close to the devil snares, you will actually get trapped by them. That is very annoying because when you're like when you're far away from them, you'll actually get trapped, which is very annoying. But it is what it is, and this is actually the second, um, yeah, second out of four carrots. And uh, yeah, see, I got trapped by the uh, by the uh, what is it called? Um, devil snare. It's really annoying. And that is the third out of four carrots. We we'll only need one more, which is here. And for all four of the carrots, we will get a carrot slot, which is Percy Weasley. With his prefect clothes on. There's some stuff to do here. You can get this and you can just place it in the earth there. And just feed it with water. Like so. And we'll grow a plant. And what you can do is that you can destroy the plant and get quite a lot of studs, but nothing else. Something that's quite interesting here as well is that we can actually go um, and do Hagrid's um, pumpkin patch or garden. You can go into this garden and we can get some stuff there as well. And, a few cut and there's a few cutscenes there, but we won't be doing that until the next part. Actually, the next part is the last part that we're going to be exploring Hogwarts. That is very nice. Here we are at the Quidditch Stadium outside of it. This is actually quite long because um, there's a um, time turner thing here as well. So we'll have to do that as well. There's a student up there which is trapped and he stay and he stayed there all through the years. He, he were there when he came down here at the first year as well. So, he's been there for quite a long time. We'll do this with these three brooms. And they will just fly away with epic music. And go into the Quidditch Stadium, like that. And they get a few studs from it. If you jump up here, there are a few studs. Nothing interesting, really. Just a few studs. Um, you can use Wingardium Reveals on these banners or flags and you will get two character stars from them from both the uh, Slytherin and the Ravenclaw and the Gryffindor one and Rita Skeeter is actually down here as well the only two places Rita Skeeter will be is at the main foyer and also down here by the Quidditch Stadium so it's quite nice because I, I actually love uh, Rita Skeeter she's one of my favorite characters as I've said before so it's really nice that she's here and sorry, I'm just going to pin my hair a little bit up. And that we get Padma Patil, and I didn't see what other character starter it was I got. But yeah, you can go inside there and get a few earmuffs. So well, earmuffs, I say earmuffs. It's not really earmuffs, so some something random. 
Uh, you can go over here. And you can feed this tent with, I don't know what this is, but these plants. And it will just pump out with the studs like that. Which is really good. And you also get a character slot from it, which is Ravenclaw Boy. So now you have that one. I've been wanting him for ages. Not really. But it's good to have him. You need all character slots, so it's great. There's also a polyjuice potion right there that you can drink if you need to change it into a different character. The Rita Skeeter is following us as well. So we're just going to use this Mandrake over here. I don't think we can do anything special with Mandrake, really. No, I don't think so. I don't really know though. Except for this, which will actually roll into this chest here. That, and you don't get anything special from that chest. Except for a few studs. If you go up here, if they help you actually to get up. Help me, we can go to Nebula so. Come on. Is it like that? You can go up here and there's a few studs up here. And I fell down, which is perfect. And there's also um what's the name of that ball? That quidditch ball. Is this like um the quaffle or something? The quaffle will roll down here. Down this not really a drain pipe, but down here it will roll. And it will go into this chest and you will get a gold brick. So that is really, really good. Now we'll collect the gold brick, which is the 165, 165th of 200 gold bricks. And as you can see, you can't go into the Quidditch tent, which I think it would have been really cool if you could actually, just where they get ready, because she, um, Jake Rowling doesn't really explain the get ready tent, I should say, in the books. And you don't see it in the movies either. And I would have loved to see it. But it's not really that important though. Um, now we'll get Hermione and we will try and use the, the, the time turn, I think. Come on, use it. There's always a few problems when I'm trying to use this. Like, she won't use it. And it's really annoying. But now we're turning back time. And it seems like this is at the Prisoner of Azkaban times because of the Dementors here. I actually think it is. And there's a Prodigy's Potion over there. I even have. Sorry about the background noise. Have to excuse me for that. But I can't really do anything about it. Nothing special over there, which is a bit annoying. Um, We'll just put on the air most for... Just to do it. So we'll have that out of the way. Mm, you can dig up this. Which isn't being digged up properly. So try and do it again. And this is just a few Lego bricks. But we're just going to use with Madame Neville to put it together. And what it actually is. Is that it's like the notes where you can stand and choreograph the orchestra basically. And they will start playing when you use Vingarum Mafiosa. Like that. And they're playing. And you get a gold brick for it. And that is 166 of 200 gold bricks or 167. But whatever. Mm. So if you, there's still these flags here, but you don't get any, anything special from them. Well, you can do them if you want to because you get a few studs from it. And studs is always great to have. So, yeah. There's nothing. I, I think there's. Is there like a red. Yes, there is a red brick here because you can see Hedwig there. So there is a red brick here. We'll just have to find it. I guess so we'll see when we find it out. Um, yeah. That is the last flag just there. Nothing special. You can do some stuff with these flowers as well. Nothing interesting. 
there's this mandrake pot right there, so I guess there's a mandrake somewhere here. I don't know. I can't really see it. Well, we're just going to dig out this. And what it is is basically sun and some clouds, which is really great. And it's going to give us a cutscene. Like that, it's just going to... Oh, that looks really nice, like summer. It's been like rainy all day, so it's great to see that. But I actually really love rain. Not really love it, but actually, I actually prefer the winter to the summer. Because I actually think it's more cozy. So from that, you actually get um, another character start, which is Gore George Quidditch. Now we have him. And I don't think there's any more character starts here. Only a red brick. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a red brick left. But we'll see though. Oh no, there's a student pal. That's great. Now we got him. And you can't... Yeah, you can do that. And you can make those. Which is kind of like stairs to get you on top of the tent. And you can also get away this ice right here. And what's inside it is if we can actually actually get away the ice and see what it is. There's a red brick. So that's great. So we'll pick up the red brick and we'll go all the way over to Hedwig. Who's right over here. You can see her now. And we'll give it to her. What red brick is this though? This is stud magnet, which is really great because when you when you're a little bit away from the studs, you will actually just get them, even though you're like quite far away from them. So that's really good to have, and I really can notice the difference as well. And there's a few studs up here. Basically, it for this part, guys. In the next part, we will finish exploring Hogwarts, and that will be it. See you in part 72. Bye.